This is the story of a desperate feat of courage and tragedy. In 1666, plague came to the small town of Ayam in England. A cloth infected with a deadly disease had found its way here from London, and attached to the fibres of this cloth was Yersinia pestis, or commonly known as the Black Death. The people of the village began to keel over, vomiting and spluttering as they bled uncontrollably and their skin turned black. With each passing day, more and more people fell ill. As the hidden disease spread throughout the village, those still unaffected decided that they would abandon their neighbours, friends and even family members to save themselves. Panic took hold in the small town as villagers packed their things and fled. However, some brave souls remained to look after the sick and the dying. William Mompesson, the town's rector, watched in horror as his parishioners slowly succumbed to the wicked disease. Making a stand against the pestilence, he enlisted an exiled reverend called Thomas Stanley to intervene and implore the villagers to do something remarkable. He convinced the remaining villagers to stay to stop the spread of the illness. They agreed, and those who stayed behind gave their lives to save others. By that November, the worst of the plague had passed, and with the colder weather, the horrid disease was stopped in its tracks. But our story doesn't stop here. Today, in Miner's Arms pub in the village, unexplained footsteps can be heard at night. Guests who stay at the inn have reported doors opening and slamming shut, and then followed by a ghostly child's giggle. Some have reported sightings of a girl wandering aimlessly on the edges of the village. Some believe her to be a girl who was drowned in the village well many, many years ago. And of course, if you walk among the headstones dotted around A.M. Hall, you will feel a cold, deathly chill. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel for more spooky videos?